Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I have got an Asda food haul for you. Um, I have no makeup on, I have messy hair, but I have brushed my teeth. Not that that really impacts you, but you know, I want you to know who I am. Um, if you're new to my channel, uh, my name's Katie, and I do this kind of video. Some of you kind of like it. Uh, it's a grumpy one today though, I'm afraid. Asda delivery, um, this is for one week's shopping. Um, it was meant to be £76, £78, sorry, um, that includes the £6 delivery charge I had to pay. Um, six substitutions, three have gone back, three have been kept. The substitutions is not why I am unhappy. The reason why I'm unhappy is because I've just had really crappy customer service from my delivery driver. Um, it wasn't my normal delivery driver, he wasn't even wearing delivery driver uniform. He had a black shirt and a tie on which said something like something Gleader on his shirt whereas obviously they normally wear the proper Asda uniform. Um, yeah, he was just a bit rude and grumpy with me and I'm like, I've paid six pounds for the joy of your company for this five minute handover and I don't appreciate that. Um, also when I questioned the substitutions I got computer picks it. No, com no communication. You know, I know he didn't pick it, but if he's meant to be the, the department leader, you'd think he'd have a slightly better level of customer service. He can't even blame having a bad day. It's like 20 to 9 in the morning. Um, but yeah, he was just really quite rude to me. And I'm like, I'm not down with that. You know, substitutions happen, but being off with me because one of your colleagues has made a mistake is a bit, hmm. So yeah. Not going back to Asda next week. Uh, we're gonna have to do Sainsbury's or Tesco's or maybe back to Audi. I don't know, but yeah, he's kind of not like upset me. I'm gonna cry, but like upset me. Like, dude, clearly you weren't planning to be a delivery driver today in your black shirt and tie, but uh, not my fault. And then they don't don't be rude to me. Anyway, whew, hate rudeness. Like, if I deserve it, if I've been an absolute tool to you. Yeah, come at me. But all I've done is open my door and, and, and ask a question about substitutions. You don't have to be rude to me. Whew. Anyway, the three things I sent back. I ordered, um, going on a picnic today with my little baby nieces, um, I ordered uh, picnic eggs and mini pork pies um, and there was something else and they substituted them for cocktail sausages. All three things were substituted for cocktail sausages and they weren't even the nice cocktail sausages that I could have kept and let you know that has a high meat content that I could have given them to the dogs they were the shitty like little bags that cost like 50p wouldn't feed them to my dog cocktail sausages um, and I was like how can you substitute pork pie for cocktail sausage oh I don't know anyway that's what he was rude about and he was grumpy before we even got to that point but it's just like there's something about having a man, like, in the entrance of my home being rude to me that just kind of has put me on edge. Anyway, let's show you the things I've kept. Rumbly, rumbly, rumbly. There are more things on the floor. I will do them in a second half. But, yeah, let's start over here. Pepsi. Uh, it's Diet Pepsi, caffeine-free, ibuprofen, free-range eggs, chia seeds, uh, salt and vinegar, rice cakes... Then we have a selection of sweeties because I want to fill my nieces full of sugar before I send them home. Um, flumps. Unicorn foams, which sound pretty disgusting if you ask me, but I believe they're meant to be unicorn shaped sweets. So hopefully the girls will like those. Got three packs of those. Um, and they've got some of these little Haribo things. And then more of these flumps, because I like flumps. I might eat those. Um, I have some English mustard. I have some mushy peas. I have two tins of this chicken in white sauce, which I'm going to attempt to do with pasta. And uh, Asda did their own version, but this had much better reviews, so that's the one I picked, even though I've never eaten it before. I've got some breadsticks. I've got some chopped tomato and garlic. Got some sweet corn, creamy mushroom sauce, 
sweet chilli stir fry sauce. Uh, I've got some 30% less fat garlic and onion dip. I've got some hummus, the less fat version again. Fat free cork, uh, pickled baby beetroot, and then um, plain rice cakes. So plain rice cakes, so I'm gonna go rice cakes. These I put peanut butter on. Uh, courgette, carrots, jacket potatoes, so white potatoes, and then um, sweet potatoes. I'm really into sweet potato at the moment. And then some of these Laughing Cow mini cravings, some sea salt crisps, some white tortilla wraps, and some King's Mill white rolls for sandwiches today. Um, then I've got some of these New York um, bakery cinnamon and raisin bagels for breakfast on Sunday. The high meat content cocktail sausages the dogs eat. Um, <laughs> lettuce. Pastrami, ham, um, lean diced bacon. This was a substitute. Uh, it's the 50% less fat creamy coleslaw. Uh, I think I had ordered 30% less fat. This doesn't bother me. Uh, basically, we normally get the 50%. The 50% was showing out of stock online, so I ordered 30% less fat. But actually, yeah, this is what they had. Um, I ordered some porky white meatballs, we've been liking these a lot, it's a mixture of beef and pork and they're made in the West Country. Um, we've got some lean turkey mints, some 30% less fat garlic and herb Kievs and some prawns. Let's stir fry. I actually have frozen things in this week's shopping, <laughs> which is strange, it's recent, it's only, the only frozen thing I've been buying is ice cream. Uh, the Snickers ice creams are still on offer, so we've got two packs of those. Pack of fish fingers. We never have fish fingers in this house, but I've been really fancying some, so I bought some. They've got Omega Free in, apparently. Uh, then we've got two of the Aunt Bessie Toad in the Holes. And then this is a substitution. John isn't going to eat it. I ordered frozen cherries, uh, and they have substituted it for frozen black forest fruits. I'll eat this. Um, I believe it's like black currants and grapes and things in there. I'm not quite sure. And they've covered up the label. Um, but yeah, John won't eat this, but I will. But I had ordered cherries. And on to the fruit and veg section of the shopping hall. Um, I have a cucumber. I have some mange too. And some trimmed fine green beans. Two packs of mushrooms, because I like mushrooms. They're kind of underrated, but they're really good. Um, also, I eat mushrooms raw. Uh, it was only recently I found out that this isn't normal. But I do. Um, we've got uh, a stir-fry kit, edamame bean, some broccoli, two sets of the cauliflower florets. Because these were on offer, so it actually worked out cheaper buying these and buying a full cauliflower. Lots of bananas, because we eat lots of bananas. Uh, two pineapples. Some strawberries. Some spinach. Cherry tomatoes. I think I've got yeah, two packs of baby corn. A bag of limes. A bag of oranges for John. And three peppers.